So it's another day. It goes on again, and it will go on tomorrow. We take it moment by moment. Hopefully we make someone happy, and hopefully maybe the people we make happy can help us along the way. One of the most frustrating aspects of the life I'm living right now is uncertainty. Oh God, it's raining. Am I going to eat tonight? Do I have a place to stay? You don't know. You just don't know what's going to happen from one given moment to the next. But I guess these are just facts of life. Do I like what happens out here on the street most of the time? No. It's not what I dreamed of. It's not what I wanted. It's hard to dream when at any given time my home can be everywhere or nowhere. same street as these people. I'm invisible to them. They are faceless to me. But when you're battling levels of traffic, of trams and buses, you cannot really create beautiful music. You're pounding away just so people can hear you. Actually, in our life, like there is a lot of trouble because we are imperfect. The point of being together is so important. Finland is far from our place, you know. So every time the djembe, the percussion was giving us some kind of nice company. Because with drums, you don't need any electricity, you know. It's so natural and it's so spiritual. So every time when we have free time, we take some part of us, like this music we have, and we come, we share it with people. I always believed that paradise would be a place filled with music. When I'm out there playing, 
The distant faces become familiar, but there are some faces that one is never prepared to meet. happy. Yeah, some obnoxious 18-year-old guy full of adrenaline who, for whatever reason, feels like he wants to hit you just because you're on the street playing. And they start with you effing Romani, you effing gypsy. What do I have left to do? The only thing I have that I own that I love still is my guitar. I had to protect myself by swinging my guitar at them and taking a chance. Why? Why hurt another person just because they're playing music and they look a little different? Joo, tää on niinku ollut tämmönen koko päivä työ periaatteesta. Mä oon olin niinku päättänyt, että mä en aio tehdä haaskata aikaa, niin mihinkään leipä töihin, vaan soita mahdollisimman paljon ja vähintäänkin niin paljon, että pystyy elättää itteni sillä. Ja kyllä se olisi ollut semmoista, niinku, semmoista kuutta, kahdeksaa tuntia päivässä. Kun mä oon just pari viikkoa sitten vasta tullut Intiasta takaisin, missä mä oon vietin koko talven. Ja sit se on aina, kun tulee tänne takaisin Suomeen. Ja varsinkin just tämmönen kaupunkiympäristö ja tämmönen niin betoniviidakko ja kaikki tää kiire ja tää mainonnan määrä ja kaikki nämä niin tämmöiset kaupalliset ja, ja seksuaaliset ja kaikki tämmöiset impulssit, mitä meillä on tavallaan pakko syödä joka hetki meidän niin kaupunkiympäristössä, on niin ihan se vähän vaikea sulattaa. Ja sit musta tuntuu jotenkin, että, tää, että mä oon jotenkin aika niin kuin, vähän, vähän niin orpo-olo täällä, että, että tässä on jotenkin edustaa ihan täysin eri, eri maailmaa. It's a balancing act. It's half showmanship, half music. 
If my fingers are cut open from playing for eight hours a day before, I have no choice. I have to go out there and play. Thing is, at the end of the day, it's no different. Whether it's me in a studio or in a stadium making music, or the man on a street corner with his accordion. We're both doing the same thing. We're creating, we're offering. I love playing music. I love what it does for people. But it is what it is.